Firefighters are in mourning today after a car struck and killed one of their own on I-76. Two other firefighters and a Pennsylvania state trooper were also hurt, and now a driver is under arrest. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live in Ballot Kinwood for us this morning to bring us up to date on this investigation. Howard. Jan, the firehouse here is now draped in black bunting, the department they were offering back up to state troopers when they were hit by that driver. Thomas Royds was a firefighter for 30 years. Not only was he a career firefighter with the Belmont Hills Fire Department, he would also volunteer at nearby firehouses. He wasn't scheduled to work that shift yesterday morning. He was filling in for a colleague just before 3.30 Saturday morning while state troopers were investigating a crash on the Schuylkill Expressway. Fire crews from Belmont Hills and Gladwin were blocked blocking the right lane and shoulder. That was when officials say a woman tried to drive around the scene and hit a state trooper and three firefighters. She was arrested and is now charged with DUI. Royds went into cardiac arrest and died at Paoli Hospital a few hours later. Here's Lower Marion Fire Chief Chaz McGarvey. We are mourning the loss of one of our own. A young man taken too soon. Firefighter Royds loved his job as a career firefighter with the Union Fire Association, as well as here with the Belmont Hills Fire Company. He also volunteered in his off time with the Clifton Heights Fire Company. He just loved being a firefighter. Now, Roy's body will be escorted from Paoli Hospital later on today. Meanwhile, the other firefighters and the state trooper, they are now recovering in the hospital. Live in Montgomery County, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Howard.